Okay. Hello everybody. Welcome back, it's Theodore here, and today I'm driving in my car and talking to you guys. I'm currently listening to the soundtrack of Boupe Sunny Wat, which is called Love Destiny in English, and let me tell you, I finished that drama the other day, and I think it was, was it the other day? I want to say yesterday, but it wasn't yesterday. But I keep on re-watching the episode, so I'm like a little confused. But um, yeah guys, this drama is so freaking good. It's so cute and uh, it's like so different from all the other Thai dramas that I've watched. I mean, I've watched so many Thai dramas before and this one is so different. And I talked to my friend, um, she's half Thai, half Laos and she tells me like, this is not a remake of like any drama. This is like a totally new drama but it is just so good and it's just like so different from all the other dramas that I've watched. I freaking love Bella's character. Her, she's just like so dorky and she's just so cute and she's smart too. And that's just like so different from other Thai dramas. I mean like other Thai dramas, they were smart, but then I don't know if you guys ever watch Thai dramas, but there's like a genre in Thai dramas where there's like, it's called revenge drama. And um, no matter what they do, like, they don't care they want this person the the main lead person to die no matter what and this is the story is just not like that and sorry if i'm shaking you guys are on this um tripod that i have on my window so i hope you guys aren't shaking that bad and it stars bella campin and pope and oh my gosh this drama is like so good and you know what i didn't know about it until i saw it on my instagram feed i follow a lot of thai celebrities and um, I, I just kept seeing them post about this drama and I'm like Ugh. So I, I held it off for a while and I held it off actually until like The last week when um, everything was like finished airing and stuff And I'm so glad I did that because I could not wait for two episodes every week to come But the episodes are really long. They're like an hour and 45 minutes. So it's basically like two episodes um, per episode I don't know if that makes sense so it's like four episodes a week essentially. This drama talks about a girl in modern day Thailand and she's an archeologist and this makes me want to become an archeologist. This is like be becoming an archeologist was like my dream job, dream career when I was little. Like this drama just like opened a new world for me. I did not know about Thai history that much until I watched this drama. This drama has taught me so much. I learned so much about Ayutthaya. I can totally understand why it's so popular. I mean, even me, as a person who doesn't know anything about Thai history, and I watched this, and this makes me like, like really, interested so anyways the story talks about a girl in modern day thailand um she actually dies in modern day thailand and her spirit travels back in time to her her twin sister's body um back in ancient um ancient thailand it's back at that time there wasn't really thailand there was just this place called Ayutthaya and the people there were called si Siamese. So this girl, she travels back in time like that. The person, the body of the girl who she got, wait, the body of, the body, the body, the girl, hold on, I'm confused, I can't, I can't figure this out. She, the body, <laughs> hold on, I'm thinking really hard. The body of the girl who she, her spirit is in is actually her twin sister okay this I don't know if this is a spoiler or what so back in her previous life she was a twin but she died early and her spirit from um, ancient Thailand actually went to the future and her in the future in her future self she also had a twin but her twin her younger sister died um, and her spirit went back to ancient Thailand. Oh my gosh, I don't know if that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. I try to make it as sensible as I could. You are like mind blown every time you watch this drama. It's like, it's so good. One thing though, for me as a person who doesn't understand anything about Thai history, I did have to Google a lot of the stuff because I just don't know a lot of the characters. I mean, for her, 
the main character when she saw these historical figures she was just like so happy about it but for me I don't really know who they are but when I googled them I'm like wow she like met like a really historical figure oh and by ancient this is like back back in the 1600s so I don't think this was too ancient but it was like about 300 years I hope I don't ruin the story for you guys if you guys haven't watched it already but the main lead guy is um and he's like they've reincarnated for so many years because they're um destined to be with each other so they're called um Bupe Sunny what so destined like soulmates so it doesn't matter which lifetime they will always be together which I don't know maybe you're kind of sick and tired to be with that one person all the time and you just want to you know switch it up one lifetime you know I don't know but yeah hold on I'm making sure nobody's looking at me while I talk in my car by myself okay I hope it's not that weird to talk to yourself in the car Anyways, uh, one thing I want to say about Thai dramas is that it's so freaking underrated. I've been watching Thai dramas ever since um, Full House, the remake, the, the Korean remake. No, the Thai remake of the Korean version. And I've got to tell you, Thai dramas are so freaking good. At first, you know, when I first watched it, the language was like a little weird. But after that, I just thought it's such a beautiful language. They're just always like so polite. They're like, ka, 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 yes, yes, yes. And then they're like, I don't know. And then they're just like so polite when they talk. Even when they're talking to their enemy, they're like so polite. Channel 3, which is um, the channel that I usually watch my cha um, dramas from. Channel 3 has like really good actors and actresses. They have um, Mario Mir. They have... Um, Davika as of late, Natic and Yaya and Mint. They have so many good actors and actresses. I love Channel 3 and their dramas are really good too. Uh, so going back to Thai dramas being underrated and I, I really honestly truly think that Thai dramas are so underrated. Um, every year there's like so many good Thai dramas but nobody ever knows about them unless you're like Thai or like, I don't know, just like Southeast Asians know about them, but like nobody else ever in the world knows about Thai dramas and I just feel so sad about it because I honestly think that these actors and actresses really deserve their spotlight because they can act so well and they're so beautiful. They're naturally beautiful. Um, if you don't know Thai actors and actresses, a lot of them are half, like they're half like um, German, like some European country and like and Thai or like Chinese and they're so freaking beautiful and sometimes when you watch these Thai dramas they're just like so freaking raw like I remember when I was first watching um, Full House the Thai version I remember them translating the lyrics for the song and I was like blushing because it's so freaking embarrassing but that's like their lyrics it's so funny they're, and they're a little bit extra too i mean like every drama is extra but i feel like thai dramas is extra on another level like, korean dramas are definitely extra in their own way but thai drama is like extra for example like i don't i can't even do her face her face was just so funny but she was like impersonating an evil person uh that she saw in a historical drama okay so at first when I watched this drama I was really skeptical about Pope okay but I really like Bella her character is really funny but Pope I was like oh I don't know how I feel about Pope because to me I at first I didn't think he was cute until I was watching like two three episodes and I'm like he has a really cute smile so yeah <laughs> If you are like me or was like or were like me before like was skeptical about it because of Pope trust me like I cannot imagine myself watching this drama with anybody else like Mario I don't think he could act this way um Nadek I'm pretty sure he couldn't act this way like even Mark who's acted many times with Bella I don't think he could act this way with Bella in this drama, I, I don't know. I just feel like Pope and Bella really made a good pair in this drama. My friend, she had to explain to me like 
what everything was and stuff and I'm so glad she told me when I first watched the first episode she's like this is based on historical events and like the people in this drama are like real people like real historical figures and I'm so glad she told me that because if I just watched this and thought it was just like any other drama I don't think I would have enjoyed it that much but um, because she told me this is like based on history I enjoyed it so much more um sorry uh, sorry I had to pick up a phone call but uh as so now you guys see that I've been listening to the soundtrack non-stop I understand like zero I understand like nothing out of it oh and by the way this you guys you guys gotta understand okay is like so freaking cute now after Bella has done it so many times in the drama I don't know this drama is everything now Ugh, I'm I'm just so happy that I watched it so far in 2018 this has got to be the best drama so far last year it was 10 miles of peach blossoms for me this year it is Bupe Sunny Wat and I've got to say I I'm so happy that they are coming out with a second season for this oh yeah by the way, I was talking about um, I was talking about how at the very ending I was I was kind of confused. So if somebody can enlighten me about what those boxes are, I mean, like I know it's the book of the moon um, the moon mantra, but like what does it have to do with her twins? Can somebody enlighten me? Like, do you guys know what's gonna happen in the next season? If you guys could. Please let me know. My friend told me that they're currently filming it now. So um, that's pretty exciting. Because this drama is so big in Thailand, um, I think uh, Korea and China want to make their own spin off of it. I mean, I'm not so into Korean historical dramas that much. There's some of them that I really love, but um, a lot of them I just don't watch because I don't really like historical Korean dramas that much. I watch a lot of Chinese historical dramas, so I'm pretty excited about that if they do make one. Um, but I mean, like, I don't know how they can remake this because this is like really, a lot of it was is based on um, Thai culture and Thai history, so I don't know how they're gonna make their own spin-off of it but hey I'm pretty excited for that I keep on re-watching episode 14 and 15 now because I don't know like he is just like so affectionate towards her towards like these two in these two episodes now that it, it, I just keep on re-watching those because it's just so cute anyways um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed me ranting on about um Bupe Sunny Wat and if you guys can let me know down in the comment section like if you guys enjoyed it or not or like if you guys haven't watched it yet if you guys haven't i highly recommend that you guys watch this drama this is so freaking good one of the best this year i know like a lot of people tend to like korean dramas more but i feel like um there's just so many different dramas out there why do you only restrict yourself to just korean dramas you know um i me personally i really like to have like a wide span of knowledge with like a lot of different cultures and things i don't know it's just interesting to me so that's why i watch a lot of different dramas from different countries i've even watched like an indian drama once and um i can't say that i loved it but um yeah i've watched it before thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you guys next time goodbye I seriously want to just like dance to this song all day. Just kidding, I don't know how to dance to this song. But it's so good, it's so cute, and it comes at the right moments in the drama, so. Okay?